name is Kelsey O'Connor and welcome to my channel. Today we're going back to school. I thought it'd be fun to not eat like someone else, but eat like my former self. College Kelsey! My progression as fast as possible, it changed a lot. My views on health, fitness, athletics. But we're starting in square one of what 18 year old Kelsey would eat in a day when she was in college. It's gonna be fun, but also like, you'll see. <laughs> In my first few years of college, I was taking my Bachelor of Science as a bio major, psych minor, and I was playing college basketball. <laughs> I got a 7 a.m. boxing class. In typical 18 year old Kelty fashion, if I had to get up for 8 a.m. or get a chem, I would usually literally just grab what's ever in the fridge. It was a mix of some kind of energy drink, coffee, piece of fruit, some kind of granola bar, buying the sugar free Red Bull, because that's what we used to have in the day. This would, this would have been good. It's not bad. That's a good crunch. I got no time for mushy apples. Only time I have Red Bull now is when I'm drinking, so that's all I can think of. It just tastes like a Jaeger bomb. Exactly what I want at 6 a.m. on a Tuesday. Another one. I'm genuinely torn to admit to how many Diet Cokes I would drink a day. I don't think I had water at some point. Consistently drink a lot of Diet Cokes, and guys, I love a Diet Coke. But I've gotten to the point of like one a day. I can go a couple days without. I don't keep them in my fridge. I'm so bloated this week from this. Pros and cons. Why does Diet Coke taste good? When you really think about it, it tastes like chemical. If you're all wondering why those angles sucked, is I was holding my camera in my mouth attempting to get a bunch of Which resulted in the saddest looking PPJ. Art. This was my go-to pre-practice, not normally pre-game. We'll get to that. PB and J sandwich. Just some extra calories, just delicious, it's cheap, heavenly. So I'm just getting back from my workout and I thought it'd be also fun to show you guys how much my skincare routine has changed since college because I did my skincare journey video. So if you guys want specific details all about it, there's that, it's my new and improved one. But here's what Kelty used to do. She'd come home from practice, end of the day, whatever. She would grab her cleanser that was the cheapest, usually no name brand. And then I would also just find what Ever Cosmo moisturizer drugstore one they recommended it was always different there's no wrong reason I genuinely thought I was doing good because I always washed off my makeup I put on moisturizer I thought I was skincare gold but here's what I do now so we do a double cleanse we do our first cleanse second cleanse chemical exfoliant hydrating serum moisturizer I'm gonna explain that all because there's a full video about it but then the one thing I have been also doing that I really like and I'm really excited about so I've partnered with blue for this video I've been using their product for a little bit and I am excited because as I mentioned in my skincare video I also like to do masks and that's something really big for me I didn't do it in the past my daily skin care routine is good but when I fly and travel it's just like out of the routine and my skin dies it's, it gets really dry it gets combination but one thing I hate about most masks is the sheet masks are nice but I hate the you're throwing away every time I loved the concept of blue for several reasons I am trying to be a bit more environmentally friendly because I'm flying so much it's something I really want to do and I found blue was a great solution because first of all it's not single packet which I like first we're gonna do this one which is a spirulina which is more of a hydrating inflammation so for the redness that is really where I see the redness. We're gonna do that always on my cheek. Now this one is a bit more tightening, so I wanna put this under my eyes because they're not actually red right now, which they kinda of tend to be. I know it sounds funny, but I like to put the mask down to here because I feel that always needs a bit of tightening. <laughs> this looks like such a pain job. This is the seaweed clay one, and so this one is a bit more of the brightening and balancing, and so this, I do have discolored skin, so we're gonna do this just to lighten it up a bit, the areas that need a bit more brightening. We're just gonna blend it in. This is the general one I use if I don't wanna do the mix of it. So this one, Detox Rehydrate Repair, which is the most important for big cities, I find, for myself personally. Tip, if you live in a big city, there's a lot of pollution, it's really dry, and even though I have dry skin, I need something that detox, it gets all the gunk out, and then you rehydrate, so that's what this bad boy is for. So here is my war paint, the before. I'm gonna let it sit and then wash it off in a bit. And then here is my skin after. It just looks a lot calmer, a lot cleaner. Obviously it's a bit different lighting. These just take time to heal, but my skin just looks happier. So if you wanna try out Blue's products, you can use my discount code Kelty O'Connor 10 to save 10% off and their link will be down in the description. We have come so far. Oh, I wish I could find an old Kelty's 18 year old self, 
There's no selfies that close. Protein bars. I found one that I used to have. I didn't even know these still existed. If you've had a chocolate protein bar, this is literally exactly what it tastes like. I do remember having this one. Oh, no, I remember why I... <laughs> <laughs> but my family was a member at the sports club in Edmonton and you could charge things to the account So I would drive there just to stock up on Red Bulls and these and charge them to my dad's account He would go use it and I don't think he ever really looked at the bill So then I would live off Red Bull, chocolate milk and these solo bars I Paid my way through college and all that but that was the one thing I would do They must have thought I was insane because I would just come to this It was like a cafeteria I'd come and buy out all the bars and the Red Bulls and chocolate milk. Oh, the things we do to eat in college. Cereal. Fun fact, when I was growing up, my mother never had the fun cereal. This was as fun as cereal as we'd have. It was something like this. We always had like bran. So the second I moved out, I went nuts. A excessive amount of cereal in my first two years of college. Flakes, I think, were my main. And then I would get these all the time because I was like, these are my healthy ones. I don't think it's actually too much difference. I think it's just a bit of whole grain. I actually just genuinely love these, so I'm really excited to eat both. Fun fact that's never changed. I've never had cereal for breakfast. It's always like a lunch, dinner time snack. I'm not the least bit upset about this. <laughs> They're great. They're great. Man, down. Mm, this I like. I wish I could make this part up. Right now is study time. Got a laptop, got a notebook. Here's Russian letter. Like I'm in elementary again. And study snack. I'm not kidding you. I didn't realize how weird it was until I'm looking back. But when I used to study and I'd eat an entire mini big <laughs> carrot. Which is fine, but like maybe it was more than just like there's some cauliflower, some celery, some tomatoes. I was a student athlete, so I was eating a lot, I was working out a lot, studying a lot because ooh, oh, first year Kelty shocked. She was not the most best student and she was introduced to the world of dorms, drinking, bigger course load, college sports. But I would go through like, an entire one of these and like an entire bag of Reese's mini. Now this is something that hasn't really changed. This was more just the start of the Swedish fish addiction. Here's when I most likely consume my Swedish fish. Back then, first thing in the morning, it's early. You brush your teeth, you just want something. I'd have like a couple pieces just as like a pick-me-up. Coffee sometimes, which that's awful. Or right before a game or practice. My main staple of a diet, I mean like two times a day I would have, sometimes that's all I'd have, was Subway. Because back in the day, $5 footlongs were an actual thing. Like you can get a whole footlong for five bucks. So I would just live off like two footlongs for a day and just load as much veggies and sauces and meat as they would allow me. I sound so old. Back in my day, it was so cheap. It was a foot long barbecue chicken sandwich, white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, chocolate milk, or Diet Coke. Sometimes both, because I'm crazy. The smell of bread is the best smell on the face of the planet. Cheers to bread and sandwiches. Something has never changed about me. My love of sandwiches. And normally I would just have one, and I save one for the next day. Milk and cookies, sandwich. I'm kind of indifferent about Subway now though because I abused it. So I still have sandwiches, I'll still have it, but definitely I had to take a little break for a few years, but now, now we're back. If you haven't caught on to the theme, I used to eat a lot of sandwiches, I still eat a lot of sandwiches. And I would quite often just grab a pre-made sandwich at the cafeteria. Unfortunately, I can't just do that. And I'm not even in the same province where I went to school, but we got a turkey sandwich. Lunch, so happy about this. My diet wasn't always the same, but the premise was just getting as much calories, carbs, what I thought was healthy foods, so like sandwiches, salads, which are not they're bad, but they can be like a Caesar salad is literally just dressing, like fatty dressing and not nutrient dense lettuce. It's good, it's just extra calories, but it's not like vibrating. Versus you can have a salad with like quinoa, olive oil, and different vegetables, and chia, and you can make it really vibrant. But yeah, did Kelty have the time 
or thought process to put on goji berries and hemp seeds and stuff, no. Monday through Thursday in the morning, we might have a workout, then I'd have class, then you have practice and study, and you kind of just ate whenever I had a gap in between. We're doing the night before typical carb load meal I would have. This is very common. I pre-make an entire thing of pasta. You know a sign I did know back in the day? I didn't really know why or anything. I just knew fiber was good for you. That was my hack. I just looked for anything that had a bunch of fiber and I was like, good. Just take the pasta that was cheapest with most fiber, make an entire thing of that. Usually a blue label-esque looking sauce because I was like, health. I buy frozen chicken breasts, seasoned it. We got them better at cooking chicken breasts now. Used to make it really favorite salads back in the day and still I love a good poppy seed spinach salad. We're gonna make this really unesthetic meal. Three, two, one, voila. And I take olive oil and just drizzle it all over this. For a college student who needs to get a lot of calories in, this isn't the worst thing. Some protein. We do have some nutrients. We got some healthy fat. And here's what I'll say. Carbs aren't bad, but the amount of carbs you need just depends on your energy level. My go-to pre-game, get a barbecue chicken panini and snack-sized mango hurricane smoothie from Booster Juice. They're a lot sadder than I remember. Really well melted. Still cold in the middle. <laughs> So sad. This is bringing me back. Got this to wash her down. Saturdays were the only night we were allowed to drink because you're not allowed to drink 24 hours before any kind of basketball. We usually had Sundays off. You play Friday, Saturday. So uh, Saturday night was the uh, healthiest version of myself. How it works here in Canada for college basketball, at least, is you always play Friday, Saturday. You play the same team back to back. Now, my team had this tradition called sweep cakes. Anytime we sweep the team, so we won both Friday and Saturday. We got ah, cupcakes. It was always like these massive ones with just all the icing on there. Just had a workout. I'm gonna treat myself to a sweet cake because I did two workouts today. So I'm considering that two wins. Sweet cake, perfection. Heaven. This is a sea salt chocolate. How do you think I'm gonna go about some suspense? Suspense, suspense, suspense. <laughs> It was called you played a game, then as you watched the guys game, there was always a McDonald's or Subway, so you had McDonald's or Subway while well, you watched the guys game, and then you went and just consumed as much vodka diet Pepsi as you possibly could. So we're gonna recreate. We're at the bar, we order a guave juice. Don't wanna get demonetized, so whenever I refer to you from now on as a guave juice, we all know, we would pour it. Back in the day, Kelty couldn't afford expensive guave juice. This was not Donnie, this was Jose. And it was really yellow, and it was like $3. But young 18-year-old Kelty came up with the best solution of all time to sucker this down. Yes, you could do a shot and have a lime, but it doesn't quite cut it. Because bad guave juice is the worst thing. A lime didn't cut it, so here's what 18-year-old Kelty did, and I still do to this day. I had my probably Knock off Michael Kors first. <laughs> and then I start dying and be like, oh, this is in. But we have a solution. Take my cheap purse knock off candy. Um, mm, nips in the butt. We did not preheat this bad boy. I'm just gonna weigh it. Music playing really makes this dramatic. <laughs> when you don't have a pizza cutter, this, this will do. Oh, this is a chunk. <clears throat> So back in the day, Saturday, uh, yeah, we went out, and so Sunday, I was always uh, chronically hungover. Kelsey's go-to meal would be pizza, the cheapest pizza she could find. Individual size frozen one, or a regular size one, she would eat like two thirds of it. Or if like Domino's had a deal. Sweet chili heat Doritos. The best Doritos on the face of the planet, but I've eaten them so many times hungover that they're a little tainted now. Mm. And then, cookie dough ice cream. Whenever I'm hungover, I crave ice cream. If you run into me after the bar at a restaurant, I'm probably ordering ice cream. Cookie dough chunk full. 
Oh, mm, it's been a week and it was fun, but I'm, I'm definitely excited to go back to the present Kelty. I'm really excited to return to her. I, I don't regret college. It was the funnest time. I do not want to go back to college. There is going to be my tip to my college students. In my first year, I screwed up a lot. I didn't educate myself. I just kind of went off what I kind of knew a few things. I tried to be healthy because of sport, nutrition. We weren't really educated as much as athletes back then. It was just trying to eat a ton of what we thought were nutrient dense foods. There was no real meal time and stuff. Like I started to educate myself throughout college and I think it's a great time of just learning and that's what college is, is just teaching yourself about the world outside of what's in the classroom. Enjoy it, enjoy it. Now right now I could have this whole premise on like how to eat healthy in college and how to do that and I don't want to have it as this spin and I will do more videos like that. You can work on a budget, how to make healthy meals, all that. I can do all that. But for today, if you're in your first few years of college, enjoy it. Be in the moment, still work towards your goals, still study, still try and get your sleep. Don't cram all night. Getting eight hours helps turn short-term memory into long-term memory. But I screwed up so much in my first year. I didn't eat healthy, I didn't sleep enough, I didn't learn how to properly study, I flunked some courses. I did all this stuff wrong, but my God, I had so much fun and don't throw it away. I still made sure to pass all my courses so I could stay on the team. It wasn't my best educational year. I still worked out a ton because of course I wanted to perform on the basketball court. I still ate decently, but I drank a lot. I ate a bunch of bad food and I had great memories with friends. And at no point do I look back and regret it. So sometimes, you just need to get things out of your system and experience life. I drank, I enjoy college, I caught the college experience. I did all that and now I have a fitness channel. <laughs> did you see, like it can happen, so enjoy it. I would hate to have spent the entire time when I was 18 being like I have to eat the healthiest food, I have to have the most optimal workout, I have to do all that, unless you're on some scholarship or trying to go to the Olympics or something. But just eat nutrient dense food, drink your water, study, Think about your end goals, but most importantly, enjoy this time. Enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. It's literally two semesters and it's done. And then you're like, wow, I can never be a freshman again. See, I can go eat a kale smoothie and do that right now and be really healthy. And then record a video tomorrow about being like a yoga person, but I can never go back to being a freshman in college. Because Kelsey enjoyed college so much that she's never going back. <laughs> I got that, that phase, my life is gone. I never want to see you, bye. And if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe, request videos down below. Throw us a like if you guys like this. Thanks for tuning in, go pay it down, love you, bye.